Sky, how you going? Hey Sky, another hard day at the office? That's always good. The Agnes Water 1770 Community Bank opened its doors on Queensland's Discovery Coast in 2008. None of us are particularly banky. We're um, a motley crew of different ages, genders and very different out out outreaches to different parts of the community, which is part of its strength. Its mission was not only to engage the locals in its user-friendly banking facilities, but also to give back to the very people and organisations who need it most. Local capital staying locally. The cash flow that is generating through this village is staying in this village. Like most company boards, the Agnes Water 1770 Community Bank Board is accountable to its shareholders and responsible for improving its organisation's performance. We're getting things done. We are ticking the boxes of all the things that you've got to get done with regard to governance and marketing and achievements in the board. We've got a bunch of people that have been brought together and they're all slightly unique. So it's a, a mass of people, all different skills, that hold the wheel together. And that's what makes it a bit different, I think. But unlike most boards, this one is looking to the future as well as taking care of the present. You know, you can't just forget about next year. You've got to know what's going to happen then. So you've got to look at that. You've always got to have plans in place for what's coming next. It's not like a bank that's uh, you know, down in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, wherever, that uh, is just faceless. Uh, you can go in here and you can go on a Saturday morning. Who does that? <laughs> got to be crazy. <laughs> Susanna Plumridge is the local vet and for the last 18 months has chaired the Community Bank Board. Good girl. Hmm? very brave. Is it broken? Is it broken? She's the powerhouse that has driven this group of ordinary people to achieve extraordinary things. She calls a spade a spade. We love that. Absolutely love it. She's a great girl and she's a fantastic chair because she's brought leadership and team building skills within this group. Handpicked from the 1,600 strong population, every board member has something to contribute. There's 10 of us. We range from probably mid-30s up to our 60s. And we're all locals. We all live in the area and work in the area. Not just with the bank, we're involved with a lot of other things as well. Go and talk to busy people because busy people get things done. They're proactive. They're always planning. They're thinking. They're thinking ahead. They're not just sitting back on their laurels. Roadhouse owner Chris Devine. Is that the lot today? Four sixty. Quad bike operator Gary Rapley. <laughs> Amphibian vehicle driver Bernadette Grasby. Should we test her? Well, she floats. That was good, yeah. And caravan park manager Mark Perks. How are you going, ladies? Another beautiful day. Under the leadership of Susanna Plumridge have demonstrated incredible foresight when it comes to the future. If you don't focus on what's going on in the future, all the hard work you put in now is, is wasted if it falls apart. In just 18 short months, the new board has achieved not only outstanding business growth, but has cemented itself as a vital part of the community. Again, it just comes back to that community uh, feel that uh, everybody owns it and it just travels through the whole community across different sectors and uh, draws everybody together. For this community bank board, profits are important, but people come first. People need something and you can say, yes, we can make it happen. What do we want to make happen now? And there's a sense of choice in that and empowerment. This is something that really does rejuvenate a town like Agnes Water. Success leaves clues and the collaboration and achievements of the Agnes Water 1770 Community Bank Board has not gone unnoticed. It's an environment where people have come together for the benefit of their community and doing something significant for their town. No one has to look or be banky, they have to be community minded. If you sit on the sidelines and don't say anything or don't do anything, nothing will ever change. If you think you've got a voice that's worth hearing, speak up.